Okay, so let's continue with part seven and uh, fix a few issues we are having here. Uh, like, let's see, let's see. So I think we can push this, let me change this orientation to global. Can push this. Around there. Like that. And uh, give these a bit of a weight. So we are going to have a few issues here where they meet here. And uh, what we can do here, let me see. I thought we gave this a bit of a weight, so let's. Hmm, there are more issues than I thought. Did I try triangulate this? So we need this to be to have a bit of a weight, control E, a uh, bit of a weight of one. And uh, that will introduce a few issues. Maybe the bevel weight should not be one, so let's try uh, 0 0.5. Oh, let's try Control E bevel weight 0 0.2. I'm not sure if if it's doing anything better. Let's first switch off the bevel and uh, that. And let's uh, make sure this works correctly. So there are a few loops here that we need to to edit. So if I selected this, push this, uh, they are maybe let's remove vertices first, doubles, remove doubles, push this back. Mm. Let's see how this looks. I don't think it looks bad, so we can go with that. And uh, for this side here, we also need to add let me see to add a supporting loop for this here. Then select. Think it fades away around this edge here. That supporting loop. Uh, that sharp edge fades away around here. Like you see here, fades away and then comes back at the bottom here. So, so we can have it back. Again, we need to bring it back for this. So you see we have it there. If I isolate this, so you see we have it there, then it fades away, it also has to fade away here for a minute. Maybe you can also push this out just a notch and this also. So you see, I don't know if you can see that. Uh, 
right here you can see that loop there that comes back at the bottom here if you want to make it sharp you just need to add another loop in there and it will be sharp but i think it's already sharp enough so i don't have to add it there okay i'm having a few issues here uh, this is going in too much too deep so also this here is going in too deep so we have that i don't know maybe these decorations we can add with using, using uh, material materials and textures yes so we just need we're just remaining with this top part here uh let's unsolo this and hide everything so this part here is going to be we can just insert this face here so if i insert this let me solo this we need to remove uh, these faces these faces and then make sure these are in the center like that and then we can move these around Again, we can insert this again. Or what we can do is just bevel this control B. And then extrude this here. And now we can make this carved now if you bring back the bevel under uh, this and hide or oh, unsolo yes uh, remove these references uh, this should be inside so we can scale it in the x direction around like that uh, these rings all have to be I'll have to have a bevel weight. Now we can select this ring here, extrude it in like that to have something like that. And uh, this should also have an opening. So I think we can drag this in a bit, select this, delete face, delete face. So this, this entire thing has to fit in here so we can scale it in the x direction like that and we can also select these faces turn on proportional editing let me make sure this is recording and let me make sure so we just need to select a few vertices this side and a few vertices this side and scale them with proportional editing turned on also push these inside push the back ones inside too uh, these ones here needs to be pushed in as well around there and just make sure that uh, nothing is going out and then we can select this ring here extrude in make sure you have the proportional editing turned off and scale this 
in like that and now we have that so we also need to make sure that uh, these are have a bevel so there are a few things you can add in here uh, but I won't be adding them uh, because I think this is a uh, good enough for me and uh, let's see if I think this is larger than I did it here so I can come in and extend it a bit I don't know if we have anything left here. Uh, if, let's see, let's see if we go to the side view. Yes, yeah, so this here, this loop here has to be beveled and because it's a seam, so we can control B. Let's first turn off subsurf subdivision control B and add a loop inside here uh, we can use out S to scale it along its normals and uh, turn these into sharp edges using bevel weights make sure the loop is going all the way and you can see we have that seam so if we turn on uh, this again you can see we have that loop there it's a bit sharp here so if you want to do that uh, we can just add a cut from here then there uh, that would make that part sharper And uh, everything else we can use textures. Uh, I think this loop also can be extended to go just like this because I think this area is also sharp like that. Now if you want to make it sharper you just add another loop in the middle there and you have that and so that's our shaver uh, in the next lesson we we'll look at uh, adding materials and uh, maybe texturing thank you